Web Extra, show number 3005. Now, Susie, tell us what you're doing. Well, I'm just finishing this cut, and that should, oh, there we go. Popped out. Okay, dust collection on demand. People don't think about it, but the scroll saw creates a lot of fine dust. Fine dust. And it's really good to wear a dust mask or have it on dust collection like this one. This is a King scroll saw with a PS Wood number no. five super sharps blade, which has 12.5 teeth per inch. And tell us why you like it. Oh, it's just, it makes great cuts. It's just a sweet little blade. <laughs> okay, and it's thick enough that they don't have a tendency to break. Okay. No, not but, at all. But here's a quiz. How many cutting surfaces do you have on a scroll saw blade? Well, the answer is you actually have four. You go, wait, what do you mean? You have going forward. Okay, that's number one. You have left and right with a set of the teeth that act like a file. Okay, so that's a second cutting capacity of the blade. Then you have the flat, left and right. There's left, there's right. The flat of the blade is like a rudder on a ship that gives you control in the cut. Then you have the back of the blade that when you put pressure on it, that's how you pivot the blade at 90 degrees or right. 180, completely flip it around without the side of the teeth or the front of the teeth stopping you from doing that. So that's how you make swing cuts. And now release that and let's show them what you have created here. Up we go. Okay. I think it's a nice self-portrait, don't you? <laughs> she, she is a tiger at that. <laughs> I married a tiger. So whatever you do, oh, and with the patterns, we got this from the Woodworkers Pattern Book. This might just be my favorite pattern book of all time, Jacob and Wayne Fowler. And uh, it's from Scroll Saw Woodworking and Crafts pattern book. Great pattern. 78 realistic patterns. You just can't have more fun by Fox Chapel. Okay, and it's very affordable. So worth having. So that's it. The tips from the American Woodshop. And yep. what's the number one tip you have for scrollers everywhere? Just keep the tension right and have fun. So two tips. Okay, there you go. <laughs>